Hello there, this is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. Welcome to another free QuickBooks Online training video. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to bill expenses to customers. So expenses that the business, company, charity, entity is incurring that it then needs to invoice its customers for. The first thing you need to do is go to the gear cog icon at the top right here. Go to accounts and settings go to expenses and just make sure that make expenses and items billable is switched on you may also want to switch on track expenses and items by customer so make sure they are switched on then you are good to go so first of all let's go to the customers i've added a customer called cheeseburger man currently there is nothing showing on cheeseburger man's customer account there's no transactions here at all no payments no sales receipts no invoices nothing like that the first thing we're going to do is just general expenses allocated to that customer's account so this is what this won't be a, a bill a purchase invoice from a supplier it's just an expense we go to new transaction click on expense and we fill in the details here just like you normally would so let's say this is for advertising and we want to pass this on to a customer so we can do January advertising and the amount was 150 pounds you can see I have two columns showing here because I activated these in the account and settings if we select billable that means that this expense can be invoiced to a customer so we tick this box and we simply go to the customers account cheeseburger man and we're good to go. So you fill out the expense just as you normally would on QuickBooks Online. And I'm assuming in this video, in this training, that you know how to add customer accounts, you know how to create expenses. If you don't know those things, go and learn them. I can teach you everything, all those basics for free. Just check out my YouTube channel, my website. So you'd fill that out as you normally would. Just tick this billable and choose the customer. If I click Save and Close, then that expense is going to be recorded just like it usually is on QuickBooks Online. Nothing has changed there. The only thing that has changed is if we now go to the customer's account, Cheeseburger Man, that expense, billable expense, is showing on their account. And if I click Create Invoice, then I can simply raise a sales invoice for the amount and the description for the expense that I incurred. So you can fill this out click save and close and now you have an invoice so the whole point of the billable expense it does two things number one is it streamlines that process between incurring the expense and then raising the invoice by streamline I mean it quickens that process so you can just click create invoice and the invoice will be created for you with the description and amount already filled in number two it also keeps a log of the billable expenses on the customer's account, those that have been billed to the customer and those that haven't been billed. So this one, this billable expense now says closed. We know that has been invoiced and the invoice is here. If you have lots of billable expenses, then on this account, you'll be able to see which invoices have been raised from billable expenses and which have yet to be raised. So it also keeps you organized and makes sure that you're invoicing everything um, that should have been invoiced to that customer. Hopefully that makes sense. So let's do some others. So we go back to expenses and we do another expense here. So once again, we could change the date. We just fill this out just as we normally would. Computer running costs, whatever. You know, it doesn't have to make any sense. This is just an example. Let's do 850 pounds this time. It's billable to cheeseburger man we click save and close that transaction will now show on cheeseburger man's account so here we go and we can create the invoice now it could be that you have multiple billable expenses that you want to put on one invoice and i'll show you how to do that in a moment but let's now have a look at purchase invoices so when recording a purchase invoice it works exactly the same you would go to bill here you would fill out your invoice just like you normally would no difference here your terms your dates the invoice number the 
the actual expense. Let's do insurance. Put some sort of description in. A long description so it stands out a bit. And let's do a big amount this time. Let's do two and a half thousand pounds. It's the same process as expenses. We just click billable and choose the customer. Click save and close. That will now be added to the customer's account. And let's just do another one just so we have multiple billable expenses. So let's say this time this is motor running expenses. One, two, three, four, five, six for 15 pounds. It's billable to this customer's account, cheeseburger man. Obviously, if the expense needs to be billed to sample customer, you would choose sample customer. You choose the customer that the bill is relevant to. Okay, so we've added a couple of expenses and a couple of purchase invoices. If we now go back to the customer's account, Cheeseburger Man, we have a number of billable expenses. You can't tick these and then bill them all on one invoice. What you have to do is just select one and then you can add them in. So you can see this right hand column here. If we click add, it will bring in as many billable expenses as we want. We have our insurance and our other things now on this invoice, all three, and you could bill all three in one go, rather than raising a single invoice every time you have a billable expense. You can just click on one, add them in to create a single invoice for a, a multiple amount of billable expenses. What you can also do is if you're invoicing the customer, just like you normally would, you can add the billable expenses in. So it could be that you invoice the customer for something that you would normally invoice them for, for a thousand pounds, and then you can actually add those billable expenses on the same invoice. And that makes a lot more sense to a lot of people is to include those sort of billable expenses on an actual invoice and the billable expenses relate to what you're invoicing. So if I now click save and close, you can see that all of our billable expenses are closed. They've all been billed. One was billed here, 450 pounds. The others were included on this invoice. Now what you can do is if you go back to the invoice, there are these little called links here. And if you click on these links, it will give you more details about what that billable expense is. There's also this at the top left where you can view which um, what all the all the expenses are. Hopefully this has made sense and has helped. If you have any questions, please leave something in the comment section below. All support is appreciated. All likes, all subscriptions. Most people don't subscribe to my channel, please do. All support is appreciated. I can teach you everything and anything about QuickBooks Online all for free. Just check out my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. There's loads of free material on there. I'll speak to you in a future video.